Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So I bought this dyed jade beads. These are four millimeter um, uh, truck beads and it's faceted as well. So I have this in sapphire color, the dyed jade. So I bought a bunch of them in the gem show. I wanted to make a multi-strand necklace. Um, so I went ahead and I already added uh, several strands um, to my bead stringing wire I am using a bead alone 19 strand bead stringing wire in the gold color it's 0 0.18 inches 0.46 millimeter and uh, one spool will have 30 feet length and you can use size 1 crimp bead or size 2 crimp tube which is written on top of this which I really feel it's very important for us to understand this and about this one right here so there is 19 small strands which is coated with nylon on top that is this one string I inside it it has 19 strands so the flexibility the more number of strands the better flexible they are there is 7 strand there is 19 strand and there is 49 strand um, you can use any of them but for a necklace it's okay to use the 19 strand but for a bracelet I would recommend the 49 strand because the wear and tear with the bracelet is much more than the wear and tear with the necklace you're not going to fidget a lot but if it is a bracelet you will fidget a lot and it is better to have the 49 strand that being said i'm using a 19 strand for this necklace and then i have um, gone ahead and uh, strung a couple of strands already in this uh, 19 strand one but i want to show you guys um, how i easily transfer the beads from the cord to my I mean from the thread to my cord just gonna cut the um, thread right after the knot okay discard that now this one is already out so I'm just gonna thread it in how we normally would so then take a couple of beads off and then hold it like this in between your fingers and thread this wire through the beads just like that you don't have to remove the beads and re-thread it you just hold it like this and thread it through and through because it's like a needle it's not like a the cord is like a needle you don't need a special needle for that so you can directly do this that way you don't have to pick up you don't have to you know take all the beads from the cord you just transfer it then and there that's very easy just hold it stiff between your fingers and there we go see how much I have in my um, strand just keep doing it see that that many beads is already in the strand if you do it this way you don't have to pick up every single bead and do it and it's much faster this way so I really like to do it this way so that I don't have to take it off the core thread and then put it in the cord bead stringing wire see that so I have quite a lot and it's much faster so I like this method you can also take it out of this thread and then restring it that is totally okay but this is easier sometimes it might not like if you have this strand like this and then go like this it might not work when you hold it tighter in between your fingers then it works really nicely just insert it and there we go then keep inserting and taking this off See how fast I'm gonna finish one strand of beads. 
it's insane it's much faster only this much left in the strand so that's nice right so this multi strand necklace is not going to have any pendant but I want at least five strands coming down it won't be a longer necklace I don't want that to be a long necklace but at not like a choker or not right next to the neck as well so in the middle is what I'm aiming for and since it has multiple multiple strands it will come down the last strand will come down um, uh, as the length of our long necklace so 16 inches of the 16 inches is a basic one right next to the neck like almost like a choker then the standard length is 16 inches a little more than that 18 inches would be perfect for me having uh, a little bit broader neck um, so then 20 21 is all you know uh, bigger size you can have up till 32 inches long uh, really really long necklaces which can be doubled so see how long it will take for me to take the individual beads in you know string it but you need to do that for a couple of beads and after that it's a breeze just transfer from one string to another that's easy so I did quite a bit I'm thinking I will do some more um, because um, for the long strands it won't be enough so I'll come back so I have two options I want a five strand necklace uh, um, so I'm gonna go with this clasp so this is a silver plated clasp let me show you guys the so this is what it came in I got it this from fire Mount, no fusionbeats.com it's 11 by 31.5 silver plated base metal five strand tube uh, bar clasp so I have this so I'm gonna use that if I'm going I don't have this in gold um, so that's why I'm not going for a gold but um, that's better and also I have a lot of crumb beads this is size zero which I don't want I have a lot of crimp beads in gold color but I don't have much in silver so if I'm using this then I will connect everything to this and then in the back I will connect one strand or you know something like a chain extension or something like a dory that's what they call in India this is what a dory looks like um, it's a thread one it's open thread as you guys can see it has that sliding bead to reduce and increase the length of it and it comes with a lobster claw clasp at the end so that you can connect for example to this and then wear it okay that's straightforward right this is called a dory um, it's available in India so I do have silver but I don't have much maybe I can use crimp tube instead of a crimp bead as this um, so this is this is much easier when you are attempting for a multi strand in my personal opinion this is much easier to work with than this um, in the sense that this is going to be the only thing and the beads are going to come like this in a round oval form I feel this is a little bit uh, tougher than this is what I feel in my opinion so I always try to do this one um, any chandelier earring ear wire earring finding will work for this purpose then you can connect it in the back that is straightforward but I want to dare and use this so it's a magnetic clasp it opens like this as you guys can see right and then it closes see that 
channel right there I hope the camera is picking it up right so that's when it goes and clicks inside that okay so that's what it is so I'm gonna um, cut this wire first of all then start stringing it with the five strand one okay so now let's decide uh, from the I can start from the inside one is what I feel or the outside one I'm not decided yet but I think the outside one would be fine because then we can reduce it and then if we do the inside one so I'm just keeping it around my neck and following it that way so there won't be any um, kind of you know breathing space because we are not adding any seed beads um, I'm just gonna take this one out get me some more space okay and then move the beads down So, if I'm gonna do the first strand this long, let me just cut this first, snip this off. Put a stopper bead um, everywhere, otherwise all your work will be <laughs> again. You have to. Let me measure this for you guys. Um, it's almost um, 33. Let me see. Inches wise. It's almost 30 inches long. 14 and a 3 quarters inch long for each side. So it's 14 and 3 quarters of an inch. It's almost 30 inches. Maybe 28 inches. That's what I want the longest strand to be. I will keep it one more time and see yes that's what I want so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna um, take my crimp tube see it's already getting tarnished the crimp tube add it go through on the loop and then come back I'm trying to have a little bit more space to crimp there we go take your pliers I don't want to waste a lot of wire so that's the reason I'm doing it I'm going through a couple of beads right here we can insert this later okay so if you are happy with it go ahead and crimp it if you want you can use the crimping pliers to crimp there we go so the loop if you want a little bit more just pull that down there we go there we go so now shall put the bead stopper at the end maybe yeah and then pull this a little bit little bit down okay make sure this wire goes on top of all the beads it does accommodate so I'm okay 
Okay. Now we have this much left. I'm taking another crimp tube. Okay. And then going to the same one in the opposite direction. Just make sure you do that. Otherwise, you'll have to redo it again or reduce the length of your necklace. So I just want to go ahead and go back through the crimp tube and a couple of them. So Hold this tight. Now move everything to the side and make sure this one is in a round form and make sure the distance is also okay. The loop size is the same on both make sure about that see that this one is maybe okay once you're happy with that go ahead and crimp so there is two divots here right the bottom one is like a cashew sh uh, shape that's closer to the handle the top one is like an oval one you go with the bottom one first then split the tube into two like this there is a tube and then you split it like this with one um, beading wire in each and then close it like this with the first one so you go ahead and crimp it and then go vertically like this and crimp so this excess tail we need to snip that off with your wire cutters as close as possible. Then you have secured your first strand. Like this, I'm going to secure all the strands. This being the uh, biggest, the small, next biggest, then I'm going to reduce the size and come back and show you guys once I'm done. So I'm just going through the first divot and I'm squishing that crumpied or crumped you in my case down nicely. I have a tail which what I can do here is I can actually um, let me just take a little bit of wire more okay and move this little down thread through the beads couple more beads because it's there and the hole is big enough so we can do this otherwise you don't have to do this much big a tail you can snip it off then move all the beads down again i will have to set this up so i am setting this up flat just for the ease of use uh, okay and also um, then we will have an idea as to how our bead strands will fall so this is where it is the last strand i didn't cut it off the spool because i don't know how much it will take right so that's what it is and then move these down as well so i'm just adding it so that's right next and see if that's enough or i need just one more bead maybe i need one more bead but i will cut this wire um, that's right there 
so I used almost let me see just one more bead I used almost the 10 strands I have very few left um, but see that's about say right um, if I keep it everything is right next to each other and there is not much space so take my crimp tube even though you do this like this you will still have um, some kind of um, gap in between the two the cup strands why because um, your neck is rounded not flat so that's the reason um, but the gap will not be a lot it will be small I'm okay with it if not I would suggest get a neck display and then try and do it I feel this is much more easier for me so I choose to do this but you can always choose yours so before crimping again make sure every strand is laid flat and it is nice and even because once you crimp then there is no going back right so that's that and see if it is okay if you think it's fine go ahead and crimp so go through the second divot vertically squish that bead around it a couple of times if you want to and then snip this excess off with your wire cutter or sharp scissors whichever you have available in stash I'm sorry in your stash <laughs> my tongue is slipping and I'm done and I'm happy about about it actually it's just bead stringing there is nothing much to it but you have created a statement piece that I think I'm gonna wear it for as long as I remember and this is uh, one thing which doesn't go out of style or something and you have just a beautiful design in your hand um, and then you can wear them I mean you can wear them with anything you want you can even wear a stud and you will be good to go but this is how the necklace is and it will be very very pretty see when I hold it like this vertically you can see how how much the difference of this is but when I lay it uh, horizontally flat and it just um, is right right there right um, so that's what I'm talking about I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say um, hope I did all the strains properly and this is a finished product and this is how we open the clasp wear it and slide close it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some take a piece of I mean take a cup and I'm going to actually coat this with this um, allergy jewelry shield coating so that it doesn't tarnish because I don't want this to tarnish this stuff evaporates quickly so you need to work fairly just shake it well and you need to work fairly quickly and they dry pretty go over the crimp tube as well and then the other side
it's okay if it gets on top of the beads it will dry clear and you are good to go i hope you guys like this tutorial if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos couple of times a week thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support my channel there is a heart symbol in the bottom of the description box below thanks written right next to it click on it and you can donate as much as you want thank you so much for watching this video have a good day bye